guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally filming on my new camera. I'm so excited. I hope you can tell a difference in the quality. So tell me any other ways I can improve it. I'm still pretty new at this, so just trying to adjust my lighting and everything. So any tips would be very gratefully brought in. Very grateful. <laughs> so today I've created this bronzy, goldy, smoky look. I really, really like it. I've doubled up on lashes as well, just to make them a little bit more dramatic and gone super shiny on my highlighter. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see how to create this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's start with the skin. I've already prepped my skin, hydrated it with moisturizer and eye cream, and I'm now just gonna spritz on some Evian facial spray. This is amazing. If you haven't tried it, you must give it a go. It's just amazing. I use it like I do um, Fix Plus or the Urban Decay setting sprays. I just think it's gorgeous and it's so hydrating. Next up, we're gonna hydrate our lips. So I'm just using the um, Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, just all over the lips, just to give them a nice hydration boost whilst I'm applying my makeup. So as primer today, I'm actually gonna use my concealer. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in light neutral. <laughs> I always think it's fair neutral. Um, in light neutral, and then I'm just gonna set over that with some powder just to make sure it's not sticky. Okay, so for this winged look, we're going to actually use the tape method just to help us get that super sharp edge. And first up, I'm going in with Peach Smoothie by, uh, by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to use a really big fluffy brush. As always, I'm using my Ray Morris Deluxe Point Shade Brush, which is number 7. I just find it's the perfect size to really buff out that crease and give you the most out of your transition colour. Next up, I'm going in with this. It's kind of like a orangey shade, it looks quite yellow on camera but it's not, it's actually quite of an orangey shade. Um, same brush again, this one's from MAC but I'm not sure what it's called because the back's all rubbed off. Um, but yeah, any orangey peachy shade will work and I'm going back in with that same big fluffy brush and taking it straight through my crease. I'm now actually using a, like a darkish orange blusher. And I'm using a MAC 217 for this, or is it 219? It's the blending one, anyway. Um, and I'm buffing this all over my crease again. So we've kind of put three colours here and really worked them in. I'm taking this also on the outer edge of my lid. This I like to work quite high in the inner corner, just to give that really nice feline shape. So we're getting a really nice soft blend the whole way across, and not just on the outer edge. This is going to make your look look a lot more balanced, and also create the ultimate transition shade. Next colour we're going in with a dark brown, this is handwritten by MAC and on that same brush, that same blending brush, we're going to take this just through the crease. So this time we're not actually going to blend it out, we're just keeping it in the crease. So sorry I'm a little bit off angle with this but um, you can see it's just going straight through the crease and also just on that outer edge. Next up I'm going in with, this is actually a brow powder, it's the high brow powder um, but it's super dark and so pigmented so it's perfect for an eyeshadow. I'm using the Zoeva and um, this small tapered blending brush for this um, and I'm literally just taking it on that outer V so I'm just going to work it in in a little V shape. You can go straight over that tape if you want because we haven't We've got that there so we don't need to clean anything up. We can go straight over that and we know we're still going to get that super sharp edge. So I'm just taking this backwards and forwards in that V shape. I actually build quite a few layers of this up and I blend in between. So I'm going straight back into that fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend the edges. So I'm not actually blending of the whole colour, just the actual edge where the brown and the orange meets. This is going to give you a really seamless blown out effect. So next up I'm going in with the black from... Illamasqua. This is my favourite black eyeshadow. I just think it's so pigmented. On that same Zoeva brush and I'm just working that on the exact same place where we put the dark brown. So we're going to get a fade from orange to dark brown to black and I'm going to really work this in. Again you can be messy on the outer edge because you've got that tape there that's going to protect that sharp edge. So just keep working in that V shape which is going to give you a really nice feline flick. We're just going to keep working at this corner edge with that black until we've got it to as dark as we want. I'm now going in with this gorgeous colour from MAC. It's called Amber Lights. It's just a really shimmery, it's kind of like a burnt orangey goldy colour. It's coming off on camera really gold but actually when you see it go on my lid it's really quite of an orangey antique gold colour. It is gorgeous. And I'm just packing this on with a 
flat brush it's the lash line smudger from Ray Morris and I'm just going to work that all over the lid I'm now going to go over that with melon pigment by MAC and this is going to be pretty much the same color but it actually just intensifies it a little bit and I've just sprayed on that Evian facial spray onto my brush because like I said I do use it the same as I use MAC MAC Fix Plus <laughs> um, so for dampening your brush to get the most out of your colours it is perfect okay I skipped forwards a little bit and I did my liner using the BH Cosmetics eyeliner and also some lashes and I'm now going to start working on my lower lash line so literally all I'm doing is the exact same as we did on our top so I started off with that peach smoothie um, with the big fluffy brush and I've then gone in with the smaller brush the MAC one with handwritten and now I'm going in with the smaller one the Zoeva one with that brow powder and I'm taking an even smaller brush actually to get right up into the lash line using um, just a small pencil brush and a black eyeshadow I've also lined my waterline um, as well just using the L'Oreal pencil like usual Okay, so it's now time for my favourite part. This is the skin. So as a primer, I'm actually using the Photo Lights by Revlon in pink light. So it's just the pink shade. They do three different shades. And then I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade... 3W Golden Beige and I'm actually using my Makeup Geek Face Buffer Brush for this. This is my favourite foundation brush ever. It's amazing for really working it into the skin. So for concealer I'm using one that's the same colour as my skin tone and that is the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer in Medium Beige and I like to just pat this underneath my eyes. This is amazing this concealer but you literally need the tiniest amount and I like to work it in my fingers first to get it really nice and warmed up and then I just pat it in and then blend it through with a brush to make sure it's not heavy. This has got the best coverage ever. You literally need the tiniest bit. It's amazing. I love it. So whatever's left of my brush then, I like to just run around the rest of my face. And then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and press all of that in. So we're mixing the concealer in with the foundation, into the primer. Everything's just going to be blended in perfectly. So my new love and obsession is the um, Maybelline dream bb bronze something like that and i love applying it with my ray morris kabuki brush i just find these two are a match made in heaven this brush is really tapered so you can really get it into your cheekbones and into your hairline and this honestly this bb cream it is like very similar well i use it as the bronze universal because i use that as well but i actually prefer this i find it's really creamy and it blends and it lasts all day honestly it's high street it's super cheap if you haven't tried it Go out and try it because it's gorgeous. Okay, so just to brighten my eyes, because the concealer we put on before was to match my skin tone, so I've used that to actually cover up any dark circles. I'm now going to highlight my skin using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in Light Neutral. And I'm also going to highlight the other areas of my face. So I like to just go around my brows, forehead, nose, chin and cupid's bow, just so we get a nice highlight and glow around our face. I'm then going to press all that in with my damp beauty blender so this just works it in really well and it also gets off any excess so you haven't got really thick cakey concealer under your eyes instead you've just got a really nice thin layer that covers and brightens and you're just gonna look gorgeous <laughs> it's my favorite way to apply concealer and um, it just works it in really well and then it lasts all day as well so to set it I'm using the I believe it's accentuate shaping powder by MAC on the makeup geek brush which is the angled stippling brush this brush as well is amazing, I'm obsessed with brushes and it just gets right under the eyes so well, it's my favourite brush for this. I am going to bake later on um, but for now we're just going to set under our eyes using the Accentuate and then I also press it on the other areas where we highlighted, so our forehead, nose, cupid's bow and chin. I just find by pressing it in you're actually going to keep in and lock in all that coverage, you're not buffing it in which is just going to move everything. And I also like to just chisel out the bottom of my jaw. So that bronzer we put on previously, it's going to now work like a contour, like a natural contour. But we do need to set that contour as well. So I'm using the Amazing Cosmetics Mineral Velvet Mineral Foundation. And I think it's in golden beige. And I'm just going over all those high, all those contoured areas. So the forehead, the cheeks, and I also like to take it under my jaw as well and work that down my neck. So I'm now going to bake. I'm not baking to set the concealer that I'm actually baking just to brighten I do suffer with really dark circles so I like to go in with that extra bit more this is just a bunch of powders that I actually mixed myself to make a 
brightening powder so it's not actually going to particularly set my my concealer I use it to lift and to brighten it's quite a pinky shade I mixed in some pinky powders in with that as well to really help with that lift and um, we're going to leave that to set for a little while and while it does I'm going in with some mascara just using the in Extreme Dimension Mascara by MAC and the lashes I've actually doubled up to our Dell pairs so I've used the Wispies first and then on top of those I put the Demi Wispies I'm just going to mix two colours together I'm using a frosty white shade and then like an off white matte shade to highlight under my brows the reason I've mixed these is because I want it light like a white but I don't want it to be super shimmery and crazy so I just find that mixing them two together just balances each other out and it just gives a really nice highlight and you can also put this on the inner corner of your eye so for bronzer I'm going to use the terracotta bronzer by Galan um, Galan, how, I'm not sure how you say it um, and I'm using the Chanel blush brush this is the brush I always use for bronzer it's one of my favorites and I'm just gonna work that in all the areas that we contoured so down the cheek the forehead and also under the jaw this is going to give you a really natural contoured look so if you want it stronger then you can go in with a smaller brush and actually chisel out those cheekbones I've just dusted away that, um, that highlight underneath our eyes and I'm now going in with blusher I'm using the BH Cosmetics um, one of the 10 professional palettes and I've just mixed a pinky shade and a orange shade and put a light amount on my cheeks so going in with my favourite highlighter this is Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm just applying this across my cheekbones I'm not going crazy with this but I do you want quite a bit of a glow so I'm also applying this on my chin forehead and then of course we're going to take a smaller brush so I'm going in with a small detailed brush for the nose and the cupid's bow I also like to put some above my brows um, as well so I'm just going in with that small detailed brush and doing a little circle on the tip of my nose and then I go just on the bridge of my nose so I'm not going all the way down it's just kind of right at the top and then going on my cupid's bow so we're going just above the top lip and I like to follow that line up halfway I don't go all the way up to the top of my nose I go just kind of halfway up my lip and then I like to buff it out with my finger just to make sure it's not too crazy and then also what I really like to do is actually highlight the outer edge of my bottom lip I just find this gives me a fuller lip look and it complements that highlight on the chin as well so just that same brush and just work it onto the lips so for lips today I'm using Hover Lip Liner by MAC and I'm going to fill my whole lips in with this. I have overlined my lips slightly but not too much because I want it to keep, keep the lips pretty natural. And then I'm going in with Cream Cut by MAC. <laughs> Can you tell this is one of my favourites, there's hardly any of it left. So here's the final look. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I've had so much fun filming on my new camera. I can't wait to do some more. Um, I absolutely adore this look. I think it's gorgeous. I love the highlight. Ooh. Mary Luminizer is the bomb. Simple. It's just my favourite. That and the Mario one. Hmm, that's good too. Video, but yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment in the comment section of your favourite lashes because at the minute I am too addicted to Adele lashes. I'm even doubling them up now to make my own kind of lashes. So please leave me your favourites and ones you think I should try in the comment section to broaden my horizon with lashes. I need to get out of lashes a little bit, get some different ones in my life. <laughs> also, don't forget to follow me on other social media, which I have linked in the description box below. And until next time, I'll see you soon.